On today's episode, we find out if I can pick up the pieces from my disastrous encounter with Bournemouth and Mr. Shane Long. Stay tuned. So, firstly, thanks for coming back. I'm gonna explain to you what I did in the aftermath of the absolute pulverizing I got at the hands of Bournemouth and primarily Shane Long. So, I went back and really thought about whether or not I was gonna make a bunch of changes to the team and bring in a bunch of loan players, or whether I was gonna try and survive with some of the players that I had. And, and I made the decision that I'm just gonna bring in as many loan players as I can, with the hope that by bringing in a bunch of loan players, I may find somebody who's a game changer for me. Now, of course, I'm going back to mostly my budget player list and really seeing who I can get from there. So let me show you what I did. So I started off after the Bournemouth match with 780000 in transfer budget and 72000 in salary. Now, I already know I can't get anyone for that salary budget, so I need to get more salary budget. So the first player that comes up as a full transfer is Stewart. He's a center back, and I'm going to get 637k for him so I take that. That essentially gets me up to 161,000 in salary budget which is still not enough for anyone good but I do now have 1.4 mil in the bank. Now that's legit money that I can potentially use to get someone but ultimately I will still need more. So then I have the extreme luck that Middlesbrough come in and they want to buy Jacobson at almost full price which is 979,000. Now this is pretty huge because is Jacobson's on 163,000 a year, which means that I'm gonna take my salary budget from 163 to 325, okay? And I take my transfer budget up to almost 2.4 million. So now I can legit go and find a decent loan player. On top of that, I also get an offer in for Ikpiazu. Now, it's only a loan offer, so I still have to pay salary, but it's another 120,000 basically. So I end up taking that and then I also get get an offer for cash cap and I probably made the wrong call here but again it's another loan offer for 55k so I end up taking that. Lastly someone comes in for Linton it's only 70k it's another loan offer I end up taking that as well. With all that money I basically turn around and buy Adrian Dalmau who if you guys have watched my budget series will remember was one of the best or I think the best budget poacher I found and so I need somebody up front. I realized last game that what I have is just not going to cut it and I need an actual pure out and out striker which I don't have. So Damao is going to fill that spot. I picked Damao up for 1.8 million and it's higher than I want it to be but I really need that position I think and that takes my transfer budget back down to 780k so I'm basically back where I started but my salary budget is still pretty high. So Adrian Damao comes in everything's awesome so now I got to think about all right who else can I get and how do I get the money to get them. So I get an offer for Wheeler for 843000 which is pretty huge. And it's a full transfer, which means that I get a salary off the books too. And he's making 100K, a little over 100K. So this is a really good deal. I want to go for this. But what happens is I realize that I've actually loaned or sold too many players. So now I am at the bare minimum squad of true players that I own that are assigned to my main squad and not actually loaned out or used players. And so I only have one option here. I have to go and sign a youth player to bring my total squad up to 12 so I can then sell Wheeler. So I go, I grab TX Sierra. He's a left back. I know I can use him because I just got rid of Jacobson. So I know I'm going to need that position, even if he's just a backup. And so I pick him up. Now, essentially, remember, because he's a youth team player, he's free. However, I have to pay his salary. So that means that I now have to dip into that budget that I'd made available through getting rid of the other players. And instead of having 325 I now have 265 as my salary budget but it doesn't affect my transfer budget at all so now I go back I then go and sell Wheeler it's a full transfer so I get 843k for selling Wheeler plus another 100 off my salary budget so now I have 1.6 mil on transfer and 371 on salary so again kind of back to where we were when we first started before we started selling off some of those other players and before we bought Damal and so now 
I have a big choice. I've got 1.6 mil, and there's essentially two players that I think are feasible for me to get. Thorsby and Vera. Now, the way I looked at this was, I thought I got eaten alive at the right back position, and both Thorsby and Vera are utility players, and I want some utility players because I think I'm gonna need some guys that can play multiple positions. But the thing that scares me the most is getting eaten alive like I did against Bournemouth at the right back position. I've already brought in a left back through the youth squad, but I think he's gonna do okay. And so I really need a right back. So Thorsby can play right back. So I'm gonna then get Thorsby for 1.47. And that then takes me back to my starting position, which is 144K from a transfer fee perspective. So I've spent every single penny pretty much now and brought in these players. And so I get to sign Thorsby and now I just need to set up my team. And so I'll walk through that real quick, what I then do. So the next match is against Barnsley. What we're gonna do is we were playing kind of a three, one, two, four. And so I'm gonna firstly set some counter targets. So I wanna make sure that Dalmau is set to a counter because I need him fit. And then I'm gonna put, make sure that Suleimana is also set to a counter. Now you're probably looking at this and immediately saying, well, where's NG? Well, NG got injured. And so not only did I get my ass kicked in the last game, but now I also, I'm not gonna have NG for this game against Barnsley, which is really gonna suck. So the only really major change that I'm gonna make here outside of the new players is because we're missing NG, I am going to put three in center midfield. So it's gonna be Kayembe, Ario, and then Knight, I'm gonna set as the defensive midfielder and the other two guys as center midfield. Everything else, the formation stays the same. Thorsby is going to be on the, on the right-hand side at right back. TX era is going to be on the left-hand side. I've got my three guys in the middle, and I've now got Dan Mal up front as an, as an addition there. And so we're going to see how this works and get right into it. And let's see if we can give Barnsley a run for their money or we get spanked again. Fingers crossed, guys. All right, so we're in. And the strategy here is really just not to get beat. Um, we got whooped pretty bad the last game. We've made a lot of changes. We've brought in a lot of lone players that will be starting this game. We're missing NG, um, but the goal is is just not to get beat. So a draw will be fine. A win would be brilliant. All right, so kicking off. Um, they are going to go for a long pass. Okay, it looks like uh, Ken Kambe chased this down. Uh, needs a little help. And it looks like, oh, Knight was able to wrestle that away. So back up to Del Mal. And he tried to turn and lost it, so that's unfortunate. Um, this looks like we're gonna have a little bit of what we had last match. Possession's gonna be hard to maintain, so I gotta do a better job of doing that. All right, so Thorsby was able to chase him inside, and I'm guessing William, oh, he wasn't able to stop that in the middle. This could be really bad, guys. Oh my goodness. All right, so that's not great. That's, um, these, these are some of the problems that we were seeing in the last game. Uh, he was able to pass in, turn, and take a shot. Now, it was it was outside the box, so it's not as bad. It's not kind of Lung-esque in the sense that uh, he was able to just smash it right in the box. But um, there were four players positioned all around him, none of them within about two feet when he took the shot. So a corner, headed out, um, and that's what... That's what I brought these big center backs in to do. This this corner clearance, oh, uh, you know what? I don't think he, <laughs> I don't think my guy cleared it. I think that was a header he got off. Um, so this is a problem. Uh, my my huge center backs who I brought in to defend um, can't get to the ball before the uh, smaller attacking players. All right, so let's try this again. So Tixera and uh, who are we looking for? Kambe. Um, oh, there's not great options. Uh, held on to it way too long. I think Kambi should have passed. Um, and oh my goodness, I, I'm lucky not to have given that away for a break. Um, okay, so uh, so again, possession's just really sloppy. I I really have to work on this. All right, Thorsby. Now that is what you're supposed to do as a right back. Just just be aggressive. Take the ball away from him. That's all I want you to do. Ario's doing really well here tonight to Sulemana. Oh, Sulemana with a couple moves, dodging, dinking, loses the ball, but that wasn't bad. Um, TX era, uh, all right, back to Knight. 
And we have a little bit of attack again. All right, this is good. This is good build-up play here. Saman is always dangerous. Um, so let's see what he can do. Oh, is the, this dancing around the box? It can provide very good results, um, but it can also be a big waste of time and stamina. And so um, I have to. I do have to be careful um, about that. Uh, yeah, I, I, what I noticed here was that Tixera was in the box um, on the offensive side of the ball. And I I was a little confused because I know that I'm setting these guys to um, my, my left back and my right back to stay defensive. Because, you know, that's how, that that's one of the ways I feel like you can, you know, reduce the chance of conceding break goals and and i know i have a large chance of conceding those goals so i just wanted to set him back um that oh man again this is the same stuff that we were seeing at bournemouth um getting beat on the wing uh, that that wasn't terrible it wasn't like uh like, like the last game where we were just getting slaughtered but um, in that that one and one, I lost, and he got a cross in, and he almost scored a goal there. So um, again, just have to be more cognizant of that, and, and you know, hopefully we figure that out over the next couple of matches. Um, all right, so a little bit of a build up here. It's good. I've got my three central midfielders, and Kayambe gets off a shot. So so um, I'm getting some joy in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see, but Ario Knight and Kayambe are kind of inching up the field together in a line. Uh, that was a bad giveaway there. Um, but see, the defensive setting, the defensive setting to TX0 there made sure that he was in position to be able to stop that break, which is which is really good. But if you look at my three central guys, uh, so Kayambe's made a run now into the box, and Ario's on the other side open, and even Knight's a little advanced. So it's giving me a very different shape than I had against Bournemouth. But I still have the protection because I, I, I'm trying to keep that four at the back. Um, you see Ario's... I, I mean, if he was better at long shooting, he could have popped that. Um, and, and I'm going to get some chances in, in the center here as well. Um, so, okay. So, Kaimba lost that. You shouldn't have lost it. But, uh, you know, it looks like Knight's going to be able to slow him down. Everyone's back in position. That's better. In, in the sense of getting headers away. Um, okay. All right. I've, I feel like I'm finding my grounding a little here. I've got more time on the ball. That's a bad pass. But, you know, some of this... Um, and, I, and there was a recommendation that I switch, should switch to manual passing. Because some of these passes, I'm putting them on the money that the players just aren't making the passes. Oh, night. Wow. So, so this is what's really interesting. Going from... Uh, and G is the attacking midfielder tonight in that same spot, but pulled back to defensive midfield, has created this balance in 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 my midfield that allows one of the midfielders to burst through into attack. And and it, it's it's um the, the formation the way that it's set up, essentially the ideal situation is that you have four attackers. Um, up front, but I've only got three assigned. So you can see here, Knight's made a run off the ball. As he backs off, Ario comes up. So there's always four guys that are uh, in the box. Oh, that's... Oh, my goodness. That... I mean, what a gift. What a gift. Um, so, uh, you, 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 if you watch me... You'll see I like to I like to use wing play. I like to do a step over or a quick turn or something like that. And then I do like to blast it from here. It's a good range. You never know what you're going to get. With better players, you can score some amazing goals cu cutting in off the wing that way. Uh, I was not expecting that here. Um, but you can see he puts it in. It's That ball's going wide. And um, oh, that I mean, that sucks for Civic. It's awesome for me. It sucks for Barnsley. Uh, but it's... <laughs> Awesome for for uh, Wickham, and um, that if I can hold on to this at this point, that's that's all I need. I just need to defend now, uh, play good low level uh, football, and and just keep them out of um, shooting distance, which clearly I'm not able to do immediately after I've uh, gotten the goal. Okay, Thorsby, guys, Thorsby is not an assigned defender, but I mean look at this guy, like took the ball off him. 
is he's come all the way downfield and he's gonna get a shot off. That's that right there is a decent shot that he just popped up. I mean he took he took the ball off his 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 man and literally just plowed all the way forward. And um one of the things that you'll notice is Dal Mao, what's really good about Dal Mao being a poacher is his man will kind of stay on him. And in that situation, he actually held off two defenders. There were two defenders that were focused on Dal Mao waiting for Thorsby to pass. And he didn't. He took the shot, uh, which, you know, obviously, you know, he's probably not the best person to take the shot, which is why they did that. But you never know. I mean, those can go in. Um, all right, so they, they've got the ball back. Uh, it looks like they're breaking. But I really, I really like my defensive line here. Um, I don't think, outside of the man that was a little set back in the middle of the field, I don't think they could have done anything. I think my, my defense is, I, I, I'm feeling better. The, they're holding the line better. They're back, they're, they're playing um, a little off their men towards goal, which is, which is giving just a little bit of safety. Um, all right, back in the midfield, you can see uh, Williams run up again. Suleiman is on the wing. Do a little bit of dancing, my man. And uh, let's see what we can get here. Okay. So um, I'm going to try try a couple uh, dance moves. All right. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, and I get. I might get a second bite of the cherry here. All right. Um, no, slow it down. Pass it around. Okay, gave it away. i I, I got to be more careful with Kayambe. Um because I've, I've given it away probably three or four times with Kayambe at this point. And it's not his fault. It's me It's me just running into bad situations and thinking I can get the pass off before I really can. All right, down the wing. Thorsby let that cross through. Better defending in the middle. Um, you know, Thorsby shouldn't have let that cross through. But I think um, the, the other thing to, to remember about Thorsby is he, he's a really big guy. I, I want to say he's 189 centimeters, which means he's, he's very tall. He's very physical, which is another reason why I like him at right back. He's not very fast, though. Um, so he did get beat on speed there. But I think hopefully the bump was able to stop the cross from being super accurate, um, which, it, which is kind of what ended up happening. All right, so Kayambe got tons of space here. Uh, oh, was able to beat my man that time and get a little shot off. All right, so um, if I had better long-range shooters, uh, I might have two or three goals here, um, you know, just just based on the formation, the way the other players are playing. So again, I like my line here. If you look at the line I have, oh, oh my goodness, that, um, that could have ended up being really bad. That was an amazing save right there as well um that that is that's kept me kept me in the lead here it might might be the one that keeps me in the game um it was a little i i like the initial line i like the way that they were set up the the way of defending but uh you know sometimes balls just come in and and they, they become difficult to defend i got away with one there uh for sure um all right so uh so the, the, I don't have a ton of options. Kayambe's trying to make a little run up. Williams available there, All right? So I'll uh, I'll get him the ball, get it to Kayambe, a little bit of open space, trying to get it to Dalmau. Couldn't do that, and um, and that is the first half, guys. Uh, I think all in all, I think it's um, I don't know if I can say that I deserve the goal that I have. Um, I think I've been a little better. I've definitely had more possession, 60% possession. Um, so, so maybe I do deserve the goal. I don't know. But, I, I, I mean, it was, it was lucky. Uh, it was, I, I got lucky with the goal for sure. Um, this is nice. All right, Kayambe up. Suleiman on the wing. It's an isolation, one-on-one. -on -one. This is exactly what I'm, I'm looking for with Suleiman. Can I beat my man? No, I can't. Um, but uh, but that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for with them. I'm looking for him to... Uh, to drive those one-on-ones, those isolations, cut in, pull a man, potentially get a shot off or, or, or a pass off. Um, that was a little bit of a risky one down the middle. McCleary, I got to say, I I think I'm starting to like McCleary. Oh, Kambe bursting through and another long one. Again, man, the, 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 uh, I, I talked about this in one of my previous videos. When you set... Uh, your team to play off the wings, which is what I'm doing. 
you'll get these isolations in the middle of the field. Oh my goodness. That that was uh oh, man, I've gotten away with another one here. If you look at this, uh I get the header, but it just he's just doesn't put the right direction on it. And he manages to get the shot off. I mean he was pressured, so maybe maybe the, the guys closing him down were able to make him miss, but um I, I got away with one there too. Um, but what I was saying was, on the wing play, so I've got my guys, I'm forcing my guys to make plays down the wing. So TX era, Solomana on the left, and uh, McCleary and Thorsby on the right. And then um, you, what you'll see is the center midfielders kind of drift to whatever side the ball's in. But what it means is that, and you can say Kambe on this other side here, what it means that Kambe, because everybody's focused on defending wide and making sure that they have full coverage, I get these like really interesting isolations in the middle where, you know, now the game's opening up, people have a little less stamina, they can't run everywhere. Um, now, I'm not saying I'm going to be able to get a goal from this or anything in this game, but with better players, um, what you can do... That was great. Thor's be taking the ball off in there. Absolutely great. But see, look at this. Kind of, I mean, there's not a guy in 10 feet of him, right? And... I, I mean, I could have just popped off another long shot there, right? Now, long shots haven't been great for Kambi, but, I mean, genuinely, you know, probably one out of every three plays at this stage of the game, you know, 60 minutes in, I'm getting these isolations in the middle now. I mean, look at this, William. In the middle, there's, there, there's no one within 10 feet of him, right? And if I can get that ball to him and I can get, um, I can get him to, to, to kind of run you know, continue to make those runs. And it kind of, it's it seems like it's a switch off between William and Kayambe that are doing it because they're the centralist uh, assigned midfielders. But, I mean, look at this again. He's making that run. That's hard to track for a defense. That is really, really hard to track for a defense. And and so, um, just a good illustration of the, the attacking uh, instructions video that I did. And, and when you play wide... I mean, look at Knight, right? He's got all this space, and he's got Kambe now, who's now got all this space, and now has an opportunity to make some other passes. I think he's offside there. Yeah, yeah, I think he's offside. Um, barely, barely offside. But that's uh, that, that's really nice. That's, um, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Uh, it would be nice to have gotten some of that with NG, because uh, I think NG, with those birthroughs, would be able to score from distance. Um, but he can't play a center midfielder role, so I might have to look at that and see. I don't know, maybe I can retrain him. But he would be really dangerous, like where Kayambe is right now, if that was NG. Game over, man. He'd have three or four goals at this point. All right, so on the wing. Oh, nice turn, nice turn. Coming at him again, coming at him again. Oh, he was going to close me down. I wasn't going to make that. Let's try it again. Let's see what we get. All right. Oh, man, I thought I beat him, but he gave me a little body bump. And at this point... So the man is probably just a little tired, and he's a, a little bit of a slight guy. If that was someone like, you know, Grealish or Zaha, um, and I'll do, I actually, I'm, I'm going to do a video on this on, on Game Changers, um, but I don't know if you guys have had a chance to use Grealish. I, I really like Grealish in real life. Um, I think the way he plays is awesome. Uh, and, and Zaha, I really like him in real life too. I think the way he plays is awesome as well. But there's certain players that translate really well in the game. And um, I'm going to do a video on those players. There's, there's five or six of them that I've used that I've been really impressed by. And um, just uh, a teaser, Grealish and Zaha are two of those players. Um, just really, really good, good on the ball if you, if you like wing play. All right, if, if that ball had gone through, that would have been a goal. Um, I just, you know, I don't have great players. I can't make these uh, these needle thread passes. Um, but look at this. This is good. So a beautiful turn uh, to Kayambe. Again, he miscontrolled the ball, but if he had controlled that ball, there's no one within six feet of him, right? And it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so, so you can see that the initial formation that I was trying to set up with um, in the last game with Bournemouth that, that totally failed, I think it's coming into play now. Like, I didn't feel, going into the half, I didn't feel that I really deserved the 1-0 the uh, scoreline. I think, I think if you look at my play here, I do. I, I'm, I'm dominating... Oh, man, I wish Dalmau would have made a run there. Um, that would have been goal if he had. 
but but I'm 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 dominating the play. Like they are desperately trying to get the ball up, and um, and I'm just controlling the play. Like I have total dominance over the midfield right now, um, and I'm just I'm able to. All right, look at this again. All right, so I went up. I tried to get a shot off. All right, so you know you kicked it back. I won the header, which is what I bought those defenders in for. And this is the first this is the first break they've had in probably ten minutes. Um, good cross. All right, that's what he's there for. That is what that center back is supposed to do. All right, McCleary's going to get it. That's awesome. Um, all right, and now I can start the build up again. And with ten minutes in the match to go. I I can't eh, I might eat my words here but I can't see them scoring. Um all right so on the wing ah, a little bit of a poor pass. Um but it's going to happen. These I'm not going to be able to pass very well you know in these situations these guys aren't good. Um All right so another long ball and well addressed uh, you know two guys there that could have covered that ball um not including the one that was covering the man. All right, that's a little bit of a dangerous pass. But again, Ario, look at him. There's not a guy in 10 feet of Ario there, right? Ooh, and the through ball, and he's gotten through. Ooh, uh, yeah, they, they shepherded him to the outside. Um, unfortunately, I think where he was positioned, the space that he was given, if I tried to cut in, oh, I don't know, man. Maybe if I'd cut in, I'd been able to score there. Um... I, I felt really pressured. I mean, he, 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 he got in my head for sure. All right. Uh, ooh, almost. Almost a, a connection there. All right. And now, look at look at the defensive line, right? So, in the Bournemouth game, when you looked at that line, I don't think you would have seen it as solid. They had a break, but it was a, it was a three on one. Plus, I had a winger back, right? So, um... All right, so so at this point, you know, you can you can take a look at what's happening. My, the middle of my field is pretty tired. Those guys have been making runs all game. They're not they're not dead, but but they're you know a little tired. So um, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, just give them a little respite, try and keep them a little fresh for uh, for the next game. You can see the right wing. Um, uh, we've already made a change with McCleary on on the right wing, and um, and and uh, th that's the computer. The computer actually made that change, not me, because I've got it set so the the computer has uh, the ability to make subs. Um, as I don't know how you guys are, but I will get sucked into a game, and I I will sometimes forget that you know I can go to my tactics and I can change stuff, and I'll sometimes forget that. You know, my players are running low on stamina because I'm so into the game. And so um, so I do allow the computer to make those uh, those switches for me. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to replace the midfield, allow, uh, allow ourselves a little bit of respite, um, you know, give the guys for the next game um, an ability to, uh, to, to recover just a little. And uh, I think with, with, you know, even if we get a couple of minutes of extra time, there's only seven or eight minutes left at maximum. Um, so I think we should be okay with uh, a little bit less in the midfield. All right, great. You know, they gave the ball away. I think Thorsby, for the most part, had that one covered. Um, so uh, we'll let Allsop kick it out and, um, you know, start the process again. We're in no rush here at this point. We don't need another goal. Um, let's see what we got. Oh, that's not bad play. He was able to hold off his man. See, now, if Dalmau could have made a run... Ooh, he did, he did actually, uh, he got a little bit on that one. But if he could have, if he could have... I might have to start making him do manual runs. Because right there, if he started running at that point, we're now in a situation where either, you know, he get... I can put a through ball to him, and he's, he's going to be, you know, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper... Or his man will track him, which will most likely happen, and then I can progress with that player and potentially get a long shot. Um, all right, Thorsby, uh, they they just stopped that from uh, getting a clean uh, foot from Thorsby on it. Um, all right, and uh, TXR cleans it up, puts it back into their um, their third, 
and now we're just playing ping pong. Um, all right, Knight back with the ball and controlling in the midfield. There's only one minute of extra time at this point. So um, I believe once I give the ball up here, which I'm sure Solomano... Oh, look at that! Oh, man. I, you know what? I thought at the end of the game he was going to give us a little treat. Um, he beat his man. That's what I'm trying to get him to do. And he was in a good uh, shooting position. So, um, all right. So, so that being that, uh, yes, it was an own goal that, that, um, that got me the win. I would have settled for the draw, um, you know, which would have given me one point out of two games. I now have three points out of two games, which is uh, much, much better. Um, I had 60% possession, 12 shots, eight of them on target. Uh, I had way more passes, way more interceptions. Um, I really feel like defensively, um, defensively we played well. And Ario got the player of the game there. I don't know if you saw a 7.5 rating. So I feel, I feel pretty good about that. Look, and Bournemouth got beat. So now technically Bournemouth and, and uh, Wickham are, are actually, we got the same amount of points. Um, their goal difference is better because of the hammering they gave me though. So uh, so with that being said, um, from, uh, from the perspective of where we are as a team, I think, um, I think we're in a good place. I'm going to... Uh, make a couple changes. There's a couple more players I'm looking to potentially bring in. We'll see if I can do that. And so on the next episode, um, we'll go through final transfer negotiations. I'll, I'll recap that you in a summarized way. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. I'm new to YouTube. So if you like the content, please give me a like. If you like the topics, please subscribe. And always leave a comment if you can. Thanks, guys.